Tony Abbott's threat to shirt front Vladimir Putin is escalating dramatically. Seven News has been told four Russian warships are bearing down on Australian waters. Our team standing by for more on this increase in tensions. These are heavily armed ships. Led by the guided missile cruiser Varyag, flagship of Russia's Pacific Fleet. These are not two blokes in a tinny having a fish out there. Also heading south, the destroyer Marshal Shaposhnikov here attacking Somali pirates. In diplomatic terms, it's a worrying development for the Abbott government. This is Vladimir Putin saying to Tony Abbott, you want to get tough with me? Well, here I am, and here are four of my 270 warships. All four could be sitting off Brisbane by Saturday. It's a very old-fashioned thing that the Russians are now doing. This is a stunt. You could take a person sure. out of the KGB, but it's not always easy to get the KGB out of the person. He's not going to be shirt-fronted. Who's the tough guy now? The Defence Department says that they have known that these warships have been lurking off the coast. The latest information is just bemusement from the federal government. Look, uh, it's not unusual. It would be a lot more unusual if they were sitting in the Brisbane River. A flotilla of police vessels winds down the Brisbane River today in a show of muscle ahead of the G20. Authorities were briefly distracted by a mysterious bubbling in the Brisbane River. They discovered an outlet pipe and not Russian frogmen. At this stage, I think people just need to take a chill pill. I say to you, don't worry. Uh, don't worry, we, we have it covered. Well, I don't think it's actually cause for worry, but I, I make the observation they are in international waters. As far as I know, they remain in international waters. Warships in international waters. Ships sail around in international waters all the time. Russia is doing what navies do, and that is they traverse international waters. Join the Navy, see the world, and uh, they, <laughs> they get around.